Hi dancers, I'm Jojo from Ballet with Jojo and Adult Ballet Collective and today I wanted to share with you how I store my dancewear. So for some background information, uh, my place is tiny. Um, I have two rooms basically, which is the bedroom, this room here, and everything else in the other room. So that's kitchen, dining, living, study, laundry, everything else. Of course, we have a bathroom as well. Um, but basically, I'm limited for space in terms of storage. So I store all my dancewear in a drawer, which I will show you in a minute. But um, in terms of accessibility, I also store a lot of my dance shoes that I'm using regularly for coaching in my dance bag, which lives in my wardrobe just over there. We'll take a closer look in a second. Welcome to my closet. Moving downwards, you can see I actually have this bag of tutus hanging. That's actually how I store all my tutus and rehearsal skirts. Um, I don't really have the proper space to store it properly, so this is really efficient for me space-wise. They are kind of just rolled up and stuffed in there as well as possible. And moving downwards, you can see this is where I store my dance bag and basically all my dance shoes that I'm wearing on a regular basis. Um, and then further down it's just a couple of drawers but that's just for clothing and shoes as well. So I have recently done a what's in my bag and basically that is everything that lives in my bag normally so you're welcome to check that video out as well. So this is my dance drawer and yes that is the maximum that it pulls out. Um, the storage units that I'm using inside is just from Ikea, super cheap and efficient for this. Now you can see on the left that's where all my leotards are. You can see I have a lot of black leotards so they are hard to spot. So I do go by fabric when I'm pulling them out because I kind of know them pretty well. To the middle here this is just all my warm ups. Um, I do have more black ones but they're just currently in the wash at the moment because I've been wearing them a lot because it's so cold um, and then on the right here is where I store all my point shoes point shoe sewing kit and accessories and you can kind of see in the back there it's hard to access with the drawer but you have so you have to take out one of the boxes but I do store my skirts my tights and other little bits and bobs in the back of this drawer so here are all my leotards in their little storage box and I will show you how I fold them to get them like this to make them easily accessible. Obviously, like I said, it is harder with the black because it tends to all look the same. But um, I feel like a lot of the leotards I have, I'm very familiar with how they feel, if they have any lace or mesh. And so I'm able to access them quite easily that way. Um, but for the purpose of this, I will be using, <laughs> let's say, this leotard to fold. So this is a leotard from Ballet Beautiful. It's actually one of my favorite ones. I've got it in black as well. Um, and it's got a halter tie at the top, no sleeve. So I'll do a sleeved one and then a no sleeved one as well for the folding. So for this, I like to lay it down on its front. And if you've got any random bits and bobs, I'll just put it like that. Now I fold it back to basically where kind of the armpit is and then back again. So you're folding it into threes. And then what I do from here is flip it over, fold it in half. So you kind of end up with it like looking like this and then into threes. And now you've got a little leotard nugget. So let's put this back and let's get a sleeved one. So this is a block, three quarter sleeve leotard with a low back. This is a really beautiful leotard and um, very comfortable too. So four sleeves, it's a little bit more difficult to fold but again not really that difficult. Again lay it down on the front and then I take the sleeves in and just fold them in. Same sort of thing, fold it into thirds, flip it over fold it into halves and then make a little leotard nugget and there you go it is so easy to fold your leotards like this and they store so well they're easy to access and voila okay so we're moving on to skirts and tights so this is what was in the back of my dance drawer 
Um, so I have to take out the leotard section in order to access this, which is a bit annoying, but it's not too bad because I just take it out, pop it on top of the chest of drawers, and I'm able to access this one quite easily. So it's not a huge deal. Obviously, I would love to have a whole closet dedicated to dancewear. That would be my dream. But right now, it's all about working with what you have. So, you can see it's a bit messier for the skirts. Um, I find skirts that are pull-on skirts are much harder to store. You can sort of do the folding thing and putting them in. But for me, I've just got too many <laughs> for that to work. Um, and obviously, that doesn't quite work with skirts that have a tie as well. So, wrap skirts. So, I kind of just end up balling it and putting it in to fit it as well as possible. So these are my Claudia Dean skirts, that's a repetto, that's a block, and that's what. So just to show you for the wrap skirts, what I do is I fold them a few times and then I twist the skirt. Don't pull it obviously, if it's a stretchy material you don't want to stretch it. I pop it like this and then I wrap the string or the ribbon around it and tuck it in. And that's how I keep the wrap skirts nice and neat, but as I said, I've got lots of pull-on skirts which don't do that, so um, yeah, it's a bit hard, but so skirts are basically just piled like that. Again, they're easy to access because I can kind of see the colours and the textures of them. They're all really different. Um, in terms of my tights, this is how I store them. So they're actually at the bottom of this. I've got different colors I've got black flesh and then a few different types of theatrical pink but I'll show you with these pair of tights how I store them because they end up like little nuggets as well which is nice so easy to access they don't come undone and they just stay put where they're supposed to be so get a pair of tights and so I fold them so that the convertible part, because I only have convertible tights because I find them the, the best and the most uh, useful. Um, convertible tights are the ones with the hole at the bottom. So you can choose whether you want to roll them up. So they could be footless tights or you can even uh, take it over your heel or you can just wear them as footed tights as well. So I just like that they are practical in that sense. Okay, so, can, so folding these. I fold them so the holes are facing together. It honestly doesn't matter which way you do it. So fold it, lay it down, move this out the way, just lay it down, fold it in. Now it depends on how long your legs are. I've got pretty short legs so I don't have to fold it that many times. I fold it in half, half again, and then I actually fold it in third as well as I can. So it ends up to be like as if you've rolled it. And then what I do is I take the waistband of it and like how you do socks I wrap it around on the outside and you get a little tights nugget there you go so let's do that again because I feel like maybe I wasn't clear enough <laughs> but it's pretty simple it's pretty simple you can practice a few times but you get your tights so like I said I like to fold it with the um, holes from the convertible facing towards each other Maybe it's because I worked in retail, so I like having everything the same. And then you fold it once. Make sure you keep flattening it, um, because if it starts rolling, like on the sides rolling in, it's quite, it makes it quite difficult and a little bit messy. Half again, and then thirds. So making it as small as you can, you kind of get, like I said, a little roll. And then you take the waistband, waistband, and wrap it around. It is so much easier than people think, and it's such a good way to store tights. So it goes right in there, and it fits perfectly. And the last section that I'll be doing in my dance drawer, because the other little bit is just bits and bobs, um, is my warm-up section. So it's all different depending on what the warm-up is. So I will show you with a sweatshirt and also with a wrap how I fold it. Um, so it's easily accessible and you can see what they are. On the side here I have leg warmers and also like a shrug and a tights top. So just different types of warm-ups. But for these, pretty simple. I literally just have them to put them together, fold them, and then I just roll them. So they're nice and tight and they fit in there really well. Alright, 
so let's do a sweatshirt type warm-up so this is my dance with Repetto sweatshirt I love this sweatshirt it's from Bally Emporium highly recommend Bally Emporium one of my favorite dance stores ever so folding this sweatshirt so it fits like that have it on its front straighten out the sleeves now you kind of want to know how wide it is and picture that on the sweatshirt because that's how you want to fold the sleeves in so I like to do it about this length about the collar width because this one's a sort of a boat neck um, folding the sleeves in making it nice and flat having it flat will really really help you when you're folding and then from here I just fold it in half and then half again and you kind of just get a little switch it there you go and it fits perfectly in there now let's do a wrap so a wraps a little bit different um, so this is a this is a repetto wrap actually also from Bally Emporium this was a gift from a friend one of my favorite warm-ups to wear because it's just such amazing quality so for this one I don't put it on the front like I do for everything else and that's because obviously it opens in the front so what I do is just lay it on its back and I have the wrap sort of set up nicely just wherever it is so that it's not uh, twisted or anything so it's nice and flat and then all like the random ribbon bits you know just kind of folded into it sort of same thing with the arms you want to make it as wide as it fits in the box so I'm kind of picturing it on here folding the arms in as well as a little bit on the sides making sure that it all fits on that area okay then I fold it once and twice and there you go and that fits in there so that's how I fold my sweatshirts and warm-ups and store them usually like I said there are more so there is space because they do squish up and for this kind of storage method it's actually useful to have more or just the right amount because it kind of holds everything together if you don't have enough to do this everything will fall over and get undone so it does depend on how much um, warm-up stuff that you're putting in here so you can always add in other sweatshirts that maybe you don't use for ballet if you need to fill up space or you can always go shopping for more dance wear <laughs> that's always a good excuse for that um, so basically that is how I store all my dance wear. I hope you found that really useful. If you like this kind of content, please like, comment and subscribe. That would really help me on my YouTube journey. If you have any questions for me, um, please feel free to send me a DM or comment below and I hope to see you soon. Bye.